Hello my friends. In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about artistic style and how I've noticed my style change over the years. A few years ago, when I finally got serious about building a creative career, I noticed a lot of artists asking the question, how do I find my style? It's a common yet strange question, right? Style is such a personal process. It's like asking, how do I find my soulmate? And yet, it makes sense. Artists want a strong artistic style so they can stand out from the crowd. It seems more important than ever because the means in which we as artists show our work to the world has opened up and become more democratized. Social media has given artists the power to show our work directly to the world, but that also means it's a huge market and it can sometimes feel like you're screaming into a void. So trying to develop a distinct style might help you get noticed. So let's talk about that word style. What does it mean to an artist? It's a pretty broad term, but you could define style as all of the decisions you make, conscious or unconscious, to make up a piece of artwork or our works. Typically, a style will span throughout your work and will evolve over time. Your style can be expressed in your line work, your brush strokes, your shapes and colors. All of these things and more make up your style. It's sort of like your singing voice. You start with your natural singing voice, what it sounds like without any training. Then over time with training, you're able to hit higher notes and sustain a clean tone. You've been listening to a lot of Stevie Nicks lately, and you notice you've started developing a quick vibrato. Your artistic style is the same way. It's an amalgamation of natural tendencies and intentional choices. My style has certainly changed over the years. After art school, I took a long break from drawing or painting. When I came back to 2D Fine Art a few years ago, I felt very unsure about my draftsmanship. I thought if I could develop a more cartoony look, it would hide the fact that my rendering skills were not great. But the thing of it is, developing a cartoony style takes as much work as a highly realistic style does. It's just in a different direction and what I realized is that developing as an artist in any style simply takes time and work. Not exactly an easy answer, I know. But as I worked and tried to improve my skills, I noticed that my style tended to go towards realism away from the cartoony style. I don't think this was even a conscious choice, it just sort of happened. After trying out a bunch of mediums, I learned that I love painting with watercolors and color pencils. That something about those two mediums helped me express myself better. Now that I know what I want to achieve in a painting, I can incorporate other mediums. When I paint and procreate, for example, I use brushes that are, are sort of a stand-in for watercolor and color pencils. So I don't think that a medium necessarily defines you as an artist, but that finding your favorite tools can help you figure out what your tastes are. For instance, I love color pencils because of the fuzzy effect around the pencil line. I think pencil lines are charming and that you can see that it was made by a person, that a human hand was behind that mark. But I didn't know that in the beginning. It took me trying out a ton of different mediums to realize that I prefer pencil lines. Making things has really helped me solidify my style. Captain Obvious, I know. <laughs> but I mean that repetition has really helped me develop my voice. And it's not just me who says this. There's an art project that's called the 100 Day Project. The whole concept of this community project is about gaining skills and mastery through daily practice. 
I didn't realize until actually getting involved in these daily challenges what kind of effect it would have on my artistic growth. I think it was last year I did a personal project that was making illustrations of old film posters for 30 days straight. My main goal, aside from just sharing stories about films that I love, was working on my lettering. I did it all by hand, and some of it was downright rough. My skills not only improved after doing this project, but I also learned what my tastes were and what tools I prefer. I can see in hindsight that that time and dedication has had a real impact on the work that I like to make now and how much I enjoy hand lettering today. But I didn't know back then what kind of effect the project would have on my future work. My advice is, if you're starting out on your artistic journey, or even just in an exploratory period as an artist, maybe stressing about your style should not be your A1 priority. I think it's important to give yourself the time and room to grow, try out different things, different mediums, see what gels and what doesn't. And the amazing thing about growing as an artist is that your influences and personal preference will change and evolve your style. Finding my style, or another way of saying it, finding out what I like and the way I like to express myself has certainly been filled with struggle. There were times when I was embarrassed about the work I was making, get fed up, and really want to quit. But for the most part, It's been really gratifying. It's been a process of learning about myself. So I would say my suggestion to artists that are starting out or are in mid-career and are having doubts about their voice and style. First off, we've all gone through these periods and please try not to get overwhelmed with the frustrations that are built into any kind of growth. As artists, we have this unique responsibility to learn about ourselves and our tastes. And that's the work that, if it's done, makes your art style be true to you. Be well, my friends. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.